I went through the scriptures throughout so many years and I found at least, there's probably even more that I don't know, at least 12 different ways that God speaks. Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to talk about how to begin to hear God's voice. It's super easy. We're going to jump into a webinar I gave and we're going to talk about the one specific reason why you can't hear God and what you can do to start. If you want more Christian content like this, hit subscribe and hey, hit the like button for me. It helps get the algorithm out there for more people. Let's jump in and go after after hearing God's voice today. Okay, so three steps. These are the three methods we're going to hop into today for the remainder of the time we have. And they sound simple, but they're deeply profound. Okay, and they're so simple, a child can do it. And yet they're so profound, theologians are still studying it, right? So here we go. The first thing is this, it's here is one, listen and understand. These are the three methods I want to teach you because people say, I can't hear God. And I'm going to show you today that's not true. And I'm going to teach you how to hear him. Okay. And then we're going to learn the difference of what it means to actually listen and what it takes to understand every principle I teach you about hearing God's voice. We're going to go through this track here unto listen unto understand. If you can get those three steps in your life in the regular hear, listen, understand principle, it'll change. It'll change your life. I promise you. Okay. So first step is here. Okay. Jesus said this. He said that my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. That's in John 10, 27. So the sheep are the Christians. Those saved, those are his sheep. So Jesus said, you hear his voice. So if any of us say, I can't hear God, then we're telling Jesus he's a liar because Jesus promised us that we could hear him. So that tells me and that encourages me that, okay, I can hear God because I'm a Christian. I can hear God. It's in my DNA to hear Jesus. I just don't understand how to interpret it or how to know when he's speaking. Okay. So that's the difference is you can hear God, but no one has taught you how to listen. So that's what we're going to look at. Okay. So you can hear God. So break that lie that says, I can't hear God or God is silent because Jesus just said you could. And you are a sheep, so you can. So that question comes up, well, then why am I not getting anything? What's wrong with me? You know, what's going on? Well, that's where this next part comes in, okay? So this is the answer. In Job 33, 14, it says this. It says that for God speaks again and again, though people do not recognize it. Another version, it says, for God speaks in one way and in two though man does not perceive it. Another version says, and no one notices. So there it is right there, is that the idea is you can hear God. Jesus said that. God is speaking. Job said that. God says, I am speaking in multiple ways. So he's not just speaking in English. He's speaking in one way and in a second way and in a third way. He's speaking in ways. So what is the issue? The issue is he says that nobody is recognizing it. It's kind of like this. It's kind of like, let's say there's Wi-Fi. All right, so for Wi-Fi, if I said right now, when you go into a room, how do you know if there's Wi-Fi in the room? How can you perceive it, right? And I said, do you know a way to know? You're going to give me three answers or three different people, depending on who you are, will say three. One person will say, no, I don't don't think there's Wi-Fi here because they're just going to look around and they're going to be like, I don't see a router. I don't see something. I, I don't know. I don't think there's Wi-Fi. I'm, I, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. So it might not be there. I don't think it's there. You're going to have the second person who just says, I don't know. They say, you know, Wi-Fi is invisible. So I don't really know how to tell. It could be there. It might not be there. I don't really know. I'm not sure. And then you're going to have the third person who says, oh, I know how to check. And they pull up their phone. They look at their settings and they say, yeah, yeah, there's Wi-Fi. And they click connect. And now they're connected to Wi-Fi. So was the Wi-Fi the issue? No, the Wi-Fi was not the issue. The issue was that the different people, different ones knew how to connect into it, how to recognize it, like Job says. So in the same way, God is speaking. The Wi-Fi is going, but it's invisible. God is speaking, right? But some people say, well, I don't know how to see it. So no, he's not speaking. Other people say, he might be speaking. I just don't know how to connect. But the third person says, well, let me see. And they listen to what they're seeing. And they say, yeah, yeah, God is speaking. I, I can tell and I know how to connect with him. So 
this is how it is with hearing God's voice is the, the, the thing was not, is God speaking, but it was learning how he speaks like with Wi-Fi. The way you see if Wi-Fi is working is you pull up the settings to see if it's there. The people who knew how to check for Wi-Fi were the ones who could connect to it. The people who did not know how to check for it couldn't connect. It's the same with the voice of God. It's going out, but those who know how to check it are able to connect to it. But those who do not know how and don't want to learn how, they don't connect to it very easily. So this is the key, learning how. God speaks. All right, so what do we do? Well, first, the way we start to answer this question of, well, how does God speak is we learn, we check the Bible. The Bible, I always have it on me right here. Like the Bible is the number one, one way you can hear God's voice. So if anyone says, I can't hear God, and I say, can you read the Bible? They say, yes. I said, well, then you've heard God's voice because it is the words of God. But it does not end there. When we read the Bible with this question in our mind, I want to see how God speaks to people in the Bible. That tells you how he can speak to you today. Because the Bible says that he doesn't change from yesterday, today, or tomorrow. And the Bible, the Bible says that I speak to people this way. I speak to people this way. And so if we study how God shares his voice with people in the Bible, it teaches us how he likes to communicate to people and how he's always been doing it. Right. And so we can't expect him to like change for us. We have to change and learn how has he always been talking in the Bible. So when we study that, and that's what I do with my Bible course, I'll tell you later, is I break down all the different ways God speaks in the Bible, because it can be overwhelming to read that whole book. And so I try to go through and activate you in all the different biblical ways to hear God's voice. But clue one, how are you going to start to learn? Find in the Bible. Anytime it says the Lord said something, look and see how did he say it. That's going to teach you how you can hear it. Okay. All right. So the next thing, I want you to challenge right now, because we said how, write down every way that you know how God speaks in the Bible. Okay, so look at how does God speak in the Bible? Think of how did he teach, how did he talk to Mary? How did he talk to Joseph? How did he talk to the disciples? How did he talk to different characters of the Bible? Write down every way, real quick, 20 seconds. I went through the scriptures throughout so many years, and I found at least, there's probably even more that I don't know of, at least 12 different ways that God speaks. He says that he speaks through scripture, right? And I gave you the verses here. So you can screenshot this if you want to look up the verses and see. I go through in my, in my Bible course, I'll tell you about later. I go through every single way teaching you this specific way, how you can start to hear God in your life in that way, right? But just to show you scripture, a community. He speaks through community creation. Romans says that audibly hearing his voice. Uh, angels counts as a way because they deliver his messages physically, like in the physical senses. Jeremiah said he could physically feel what God was doing, right? Confirmations. Think of Gideon. He said, I'm, I'm going to, uh, through confirmations, prove what I'm doing, right? Uh, visions. We see visions all over the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, before and after the cross. Dreams is all over the Bible. Job's 33. 14 or 15 literally says I talk to people in dreams through people's emotions and thoughts. That seems weird because those are very fallible. So that's why I try to teach in my course. How do you know if an emotion or thoughts from God? But today I want to show you that God can speak through those ways and through your five senses. All of your senses can be used to hear God's voice. So I found at least 12 ways, but there's probably even more. Okay. But when you learn how to hear God through these different ways, you say, whoa, I didn't know he could speak to me through my senses. I didn't know he could speak to me through a dream. But when you learn the ways how he speaks, you no longer expect him to speak in English because you're looking for the ancient ways he's always been talking. And what you do is when you learn these ways, you no longer have a monologue relationship with God. You, be, you instantly know how to pray and then start looking for his answer because he says he speaks, right? You instantly know how to do those things and you can discover when it's not God. That's what I also try to teach is how to know when it's not God because sometimes it is just you or it might not be. And so that's, but when you know how he speaks, you know how to differentiate between you or him, right? Okay. Hey guys, I hope that first principle in hearing God's voice really helped you. If you want to jump into the rest of the webinar, there's about 10 more minutes of it. You can jump in and hear the other two steps on how to hear God's voice. Just click this video 
right over here. It'll start right up for you. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.